The Indian Air Force mocked Pakistan Air Force as its C-130J and AN-32 aircraft flew using call signs of Pakistani air bases that were destroyed by the Indian Air Force. Pakistan has dispatched its first shipment of critical minerals to the United States. The US Department of Defense has added Pakistan to a new Raytheon contract for new AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air missiles that includes 140 km range AIM-120 C-8 missile and 180 km range AIM-120 D-3 missile. MBDA has confirmed Meteor's compatibility with Indian Air Force's Russian origin fighter jets like the Su-30, once they are fitted with Indian V Rupaksha radar. Following intelligence inputs that Pakistan might attempt sea skimming tactics, the Indian Air Force is now deploying additional Akash and MR SAM batteries along the western coast, that will create no fly bubble in the Arabian Sea. India's Defence Ministry has made an amendment to the Revenue Procurement Manual, and has now opened the development and production of missiles, ammunition and ordnance to private firms, so that India does not run out of firepower in long-term hostilities. India has issued an OTAM warning for a designated range of 1,480 km for a missile test in the Bay of Bengal between 15th to 17th October, which is likely the Dwani hypersonic glide vehicle. Hyderabad based Redon Systems has demonstrated its Pehra tethered drone at Pokhran Rajasthan. Bharat Dynamics Limited is setting up a 1,200 crore rupees integrated weapons and propellant manufacturing unit in Andhra Pradesh that will boost India's missile and defence production, and create 600 direct and 1,000 indirect jobs. The DRDO chief has confirmed, that the indigenous fuel cell-based AIP module will be ready by December 2025. The second Calvary-class submarine INS Kanheri will become the first test platform by mid-2026. Bangalore-based Prime Toolings has announced plans to test its indigenous rotating detonation engine on the Bayrak missile series by February 2026. The engine is designed for 600 km range missiles and Mach 2 speeds with 25% higher fuel efficiency. If validated on the Barak missile, it could evolve into a long-range interceptor. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory is developing an upgraded 25 km range lightweight torpedo with improved endurance and a 42% boost in underwater speed, from current 33 knots to 47 knots, which will feature advanced propulsion and high-energy batteries, and will integrate AI-driven target discrimination and enhanced acoustic homing. The Ministry of Defence is planning select briefings for close allies on the progress of AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jet. India's outreach will update partners such as Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia, on the design engine choices and milestones achieved without any foreign participation. With an estimated unit cost of $80 million, the AMCA combines stealth supercruise and advanced avionics positioning it as a cost-effective export contender in the global fifth-generation fighter market. The Aeronautical Development Agency is expected to begin conceptual studies for a sixth-generation fighter jet design by 2030, once AMCA flight testing stabilizes. The vision includes an optionally manned AI-driven fighter in the 30-35 ton class, featuring adaptive engines, directed energy weapons, and UCAF mothership capabilities. Aeronautical Development Agency's roadmap foresees an AMCA FX variant, integrating sixth-generation traits such as low observable airframe refinement, adaptive AI avionics, and hypersonic weapon compatibility, with the first prototype ready by 2040. Today's top three comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.